on, nerd. This is where I told you. Come on, all the nerds. All from the inside. I'm gonna toughen you up a little bit. Give you some personality skill. <laughs> if you're feeling like a pimp. <laughs> Yo, what up, Josh? Hi, Kevin. How are you? I'm chilling, man. Fuck it. I don't know why we acting like we weren't here for like the last hour, but <laughs> this is the motherfucking Mac Oh, man. Like, I'm Kevin Sanchez. I'm Josh Pallet. And we chilling, babe. How you feeling, man? I'm a little hungover, man. <laughs> I'm a little hungover. <laughs> we held a we held a giant weed festival in New York City. I mean, we were kind of we, we might have been pioneers this weekend, I've, bro. I I thought we were going to jail. Dude, there was at least what fifty thousand dollars worth of of edible products. Uh, at least I don't right? want to start naming fucking oh, we indictment numbers. Oh Kevin. yeah, you're right. I forgot we got the address on flyers and shit. Yeah, hey yo, bring that shit you? out, son. What is <laughs> nah, wrong don't with that you? Out. Um, yeah, my bad, my bad. Anyway, now anyway. he's paranoid. Um, no, listen, it was insanity. We, you know, we smoked before the show and. Two, you know, you know the police officers that have the white button downs. Those are like captains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, two captains in Hell's Kitchen walked right by a group, a very eclectic group of people smoking weed out in the open on the street. You know, when I grew up in the fucking nineties, I had a gun put into my head. Yeah, for fucking smoking a blunt, and these two captains walked by and said nothing. I froze. I froze into my cell phone. I was like pretending like I was looking at my GPS. Yo, my man. Was like, hey, yo, my man. Pass that shit, son. Bro, yo, pass that shit. I, that shit smell good, bro. bro I, 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 I won't lie, dude. I was shook, daddy. I, I'm not. You were scared. You still got PTSD from the I 90s. Got PTSD, yo, bro. I got arrested during the time when they were shoving knives. If you have PTSD for the war on drugs, please call one eight hundred. Yeah, maybe there's Max. a lawsuit, man. They maybe there's a lawsuit. I think there might be, bro. Fucking a. I had a gun put to my head <laughs> by a cop, right? By a police officer. Oh, no, I for, no, tell that fucking story, bro. I forgot about that shit. What it was when me they, and my three friends? What happened? It was in Central Park, no? Or some no, shit no, like that? no. It was in Flushing Meadow Park, like ten minutes from my house. And well, we were, how old were you? Well, I was I was a very old, like eighteen years old. I was already working on 18, Wall Street. Eighteen is a lot different. Then than it is now. Well, I was working on Wall Street for two years already. So, like, basically, what you're saying is you would have been a TikTok star today, is what you're saying. I, I would be in jail today. No, 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 no. You'd be a TikTok star, bro. Okay, if you you'd say be so, you'd be on the undercard of Logan Paul and Mayweather right now. Probably That's what not. You would be. Yeah, no. I, so, I don't fight. I shoot. <laughs> <laughs> no, but not not if you were 18 today. You'd be a TikTok star in a in a. In an exhibition boxing match. Okay, I'm gonna fantasize about doing that. So you're 18 years old, right? You're working on Wall Street, yes, and you're smoking what a joint? No, smoking we're smoking a, a blunt, blunts. Kevin. We're from Queens, man. <laughs> Yo, okay. Hey, you know what? I don't like the disrespect with your glasses. Yo, you got your glasses on, talking to me and shit, motherfucker. You Kanye now? Look, Kevin, I told you my eyes <laughs> oh, is all messed up. Yo, bro, put those shits back on. I forgot all about that shit. Disgusting, <laughs> fucking asshole, bro. <laughs> I told you I didn't want to take them off. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Okay. So yeah. you so you and um So you and your friends are smoking. We're bro. smoking weed in Flushing Meadow Park, and a guy comes walking over towards me and he's like, Hey man, you got a light? And at the time I was carrying a Zippo lighter because I thought I was cool. I could do yeah. tricks and stuff. I would <laughs> hit it against my jeans and light it like that. Or I'd be able to flick it open and light it. <laughs> well you like it, it didn't you were give a big me... guy, you were still a fat guy. Bro, I was looking for any methodology to, to get, get some pussy, to get right? Some Yo, pussy. Say, oh, you know? come down to that. So he was four hundred and fifty pounds. This is a lesson to be learned yeah. He was four hundred and fifty no, pounds. No, at that time I was on, I was me, like a, a Schvelt three thirty. Chapter fourteen. If you four fifty Buy a Zippo lighter. <laughs> no, don't buy a Zippo lighter. Buy a Zippo li lighter. Yeah. Carry some. No, uh, buy a Zippo lighter, swallow it. And then spit Get it back out. Get sick and yeah. don't be able to eat for a few days. And that's, that's the best thing you could do with that's a Zippo the, that's lighter. The first that best, that's the best thing you could do. The second best thing you could do is just show bitches fire and they will come. <laughs> <laughs> it's just in their DNA from the caveman days, bro. 100%. I, I was Mac using it. I was like tackle. Like, you know, you're fishing. You thought that would attract <laughs> something. Anyway, the dude comes over. 
I go and I flick open the lighter and the dude pulls out a gun and points it at us. What year is this? This is 1997. And he hasn't established that he's a police officer yet? No, not yet. And so he tells my friend who has the blunt in his hand, he goes, don't drop that motherfucking blunt or I'll blow your head off. I was like, that's a very strange request. (laughs) Hey, man, keep that shit lit. (laughs) It's a very strange request. Yo, my man. (laughs) So me. Yo, my man, I need a hit of that shit. Yo, I was going to ask you for a hit, but now I'm telling you, you're going to give me a hit of that shit. That's what I would have thought. So, like, listen, we were gaudy little, like, young stockbrokers. So, like, (laughs) we had jewelry on and fucking, like, nice watches on. And I go, you know, and I'm trying to be reasoned with the guy. And I'm like, hey, dude, look. You got a watch here. You got this guy's necklace. You can take this. I was like, no one's going to say anything. I was like, take whatever you want. Just get out of here, you know? And he goes, shut the fuck up. And then the next thing that happens <laughs> is a van swoops in behind us this way. Another van swoops in this way. And then a fucking unmarked Crown Victoria over here. And it's the fucking A-team. And they get out the car. And they're like, oh, you're like, rest, this and that. And I was like, come on, guys. You know, like. This is a this no, is I go to, I go to, I go come on man we look like you like <laughs> I could we like literally look we literally looked like the cops who were arresting us I was like I was like we could be cops and they go they go oh are you and I was like I was like, no, of course not. <laughs> He's like, well, get in the fucking van. <laughs> so then they throw us in the back of a van, and then they drive around for like 40 minutes looking for other pot smokers. Oh, who's the mayor at this point? Mr. Who? The one and only Mr. Rudolph Giuliani. Giuliani. Rudolph Giuliani destroyed my father's business and my night. Yo, fucking so fucking Giuliani, they drive bro. us around. It's not over yet. They drive us around for fucking 40 minutes looking for people smoking weed, and they finally find... And we could hear all the conversations this going is, this on. This is where your tax money is going. Yeah, at that time. At that time. In 97, this is where it's going. So at that time, so we can hear over the walkie-talkies, oh, yeah, I see a guy. This that, is why your rent high. I see, I see three guys and they're smoking weed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, roger that. Get the M16s. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. What? Yeah. They, they, dude, they have a fucking SWAT team there, bro, for like people smoking weed, bro. So what Do you they, th- Yo, just I just want you to know these, these are the times my man Josh is going through. So that's why he's paranoid to smoke weed in the streets. Don't judge this man. Look yeah, what he man. Had to go through. PTSD. So fuck, dude. I didn't mention like when we they threw us in the back of the van. They already had like two other people. So like we weren't the first people they caught, <laughs> and they weren't ready to go home yet. They're like, we gotta fill it up. Yeah. So they pull into the fucking gas station. The guys jump out to go like, all right, we're gonna go approach. To like go approach the weed smokers, and when they close the door, me and my friend start screaming, "Run, run! The cops are coming! Run, run!" So the same dude who put the gun to our heads heard us, opens the door, and he puts the gun like this, and he goes, "He goes, which one of you motherfuckers said that?" He goes, "The next one of you motherfuckers who say some stupid shit like that is gonna get a bullet in their head." This is what he fucking tells us for smoking a blunt. Orders from Giuliani. Yeah. By the way, those yeah. were the orders Giuliani yeah. gave. Yeah. Then they take us to a precinct to, to, to punish us. They lock us up in the holding cell. And it was and like, yo, yo, had, hey, yo, hey, yo, my man, you ever, had a, you ever had a plunger in your ass? No, before this. They lock <laughs> us before this, Kevin. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yes. And this was in Corona, Queens. They lock us up. With uh, with our hands, lot with our hands behind our backs, and they throw us in. This is a Friday night. They throw us into like the drunk tank, and nobody in the drunk tank has handcuffs on, so we're defenseless. We have our hands behind our back, and there's just like drunk people and like fucking. Hey, yo, my and man, shit. my man, I don't see your hands. I don't see your hands. You all shoulders out here, son. Why are you looking at me like that, bro? Nah, that's when I turn into devil. It's like I will kill everybody <laughs> in here. Mother told me to wear your skins on me. <laughs> you're like, uh-uh, I fucking with that guy. But, <laughs> so then they, so they have us in there, leave us in there for like four hours. Fucking, they just tortured us. Then they're like, they walk us down the hallway and they're like, oh yeah, you're gonna like this part. And we're like, what's that? They're like, you're getting strip searched. So they're walking us down this hallway, and this is during the time, like maybe a year or two, or maybe right around the time where Abner Louima. Had a fucking plunger shoved up his asshole 
by That's cops. What I said, what I yeah. By cops. And I'm walking down the hallway, my hands down my back, and I look into a closet and I see a fucking blood <laughs> Marble, why did I smoke weed? Why did I not listen to the school counselor? Mama. Dude. They, already, Josh was already plotting something, his revenge. Something e- almost as worse happened. Little fat Josh had to get into a hallway with him and like his closest friends and get completely buck naked. Okay? <laughs> and like spread our legs and our assholes and like lift our ball sacks up. I was like, this. We got raped, essentially. So yeah. you ra- if they you like, ask why hey, I'm nervous smoking <laughs> weed in the street, Josh got they like made you rape yourself. Like why are you raping yourself? Remember when you like, 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 had to grab your hand and just, why rape yourself? Why you raping yourself, Josh? <laughs> I already I already had the nick t- uh, the nickname by that age of jerk off Josh, so it wasn't getting any better for me. <laughs> oh my goodness, yo! <laughs> yeah, it was the very, Mac, yo. So, this is the Mac Almanac, bro, and you know what? Some Mac shit. That you did mm. was try to save other weed smokers that night. Yes, even absolutely. and fuck those two dudes who didn't think to scream that shit out when they were approaching you guys. Yo, I, that was like honestly one of the most proudest moments of my life. Yo, that's bro. that's that's why that's why you in this lifestyle, bro. Because yeah, you over and, here trying to look out all the time. And you know what? That's I a think, miss for motherfucker. I think they got away because they didn't they didn't put anybody else in the yeah, van. Yeah, boy, take that credit. So they so they must have like chucked the joint or something because they got a cat. That's what it was. Oh. The dude when they, to arrest you, Julian is like, all right, I'm looking at the law here, so you have to catch them and whiff it in their hand. That's why he was like, you better not drop that fucking blood, oh, you know? Oh, shit. They were making quotas, so when we yelled, police, run, they threw the shit, and they didn't have nada. Damn, son. And that's how you do it out here, That's bro. my kind of crime stoppers. <sighs> fucking. But come oh, on, that, don't I look that? like you? I could be one of you. That's how I got out of jail. I walked out. I was like, oh, I'm, I'm getting off my shift now. <laughs> oh, shit, bro. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. so, like, yeah, I'm a uh, little bit hungover from the weekend. Dude, it was a great weekend, bro. And then we did Comedy Fight Club last night. Comedy Fight Club was fun. Shout out awesome. to Stan to Luis, man. You were a great, great yeah. opponent, bro, man. Thank Shout you, Shout out to Matt Marin and them boys. You know, and DJ, I DJ think don't me believe versus women. Stan was better than the... Uh, Jake Paul versus uh, uh, Mayweather. Mayweather fight. Yeah, I, I mean we got to see it though. I want to. I want to see it. I bet you it was entertaining. I okay. bet you it was entertaining. Shout out Chad Ocho Cinco for getting knocked the fuck out though. That shit was crazy, bro. Ocho Cinco got knocked he out. Got, he got. I mean, this dude got a flash knockdown. He got up and he acted like the fight was over. And he was like, <laughs> trying to give a fist bump to him. He's like, "Good fight." Good They're fight. Like, it ain't over, bitch. And then, and then the ref is like, "Yo, six, six. What are you doing? What are you corner, man?" Oh, it was the fucking. Oh, maybe he was just like, I know this is over now. I can't fight. No Honestly, more. if he would have just took a knee, I got it. Right. Yeah. Forty million. You you got forty million in the bank account. Hopefully, that's what he got for the. Oh, for you're the saying NFL. in totality yeah, for the NFL? Yeah. And how much you think he got for that fight? Probably three million. Oh wow, it's a good payday. <laughs> probably, probably. I don't know. Wow. I don't know. Wait, did, you, did you know the odds on who did he fight? He, I think he fought like, like a kind of like an amateur proish boxer. Okay. Yeah, but Ocho Cinco six five. Two two twenty, mm-hmm. you know maybe, so right. like so like he he has the physical ability. Yeah, and I've heard that he boxes really well. Right. Yeah. But fuck yeah, I um, I want to start a new boxing foundation. What's real all fun? all matches are just made on the spot. Like we just find a guy. Rough and, rough and Rowdy kind of just do that. Really? Yeah, Barstool Sports kind of does that. How how do they do that? They just uh, you enter in any any schmo right. And uh, you enter into fight, and they'll put you on a fight with somebody. No, 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 no. That's that's way too advanced. I'm talking about we get like your brother, and we walk around <laughs> Manhattan. Wait, that does exist too. We, really? Yes, in the Bronx. It's called Bronx Rumble, or oh, Rumble in the Bronx. Do they do that in the park? They they do it in um. I'm they ta- do it behind bodegas. Kevin, I'm talking about. They the, do it in bodegas, bro. Kevin, I'm in talking, the park. Central I'm park. talking about the grub. That's hub just of, as good. The grub of, of this shit. Like the we grub come, hub. we come to your house and knock on the door and be like, "What's up? You want to fight? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I'm down, bro. You know, we have gloves. You know, yeah, and then we take go. it. Oh, you you want to do some Charlie um some Charlie shit? The dude that got beat up by um. Oh no, that was <laughs> uh, honestly that dude is nuts, man. <laughs> He's nuts. I love that. It's Fight Club. He's on got wheels. balls though. He man. does got balls. He He's go- got balls. He's crazy. Uh, you know, um, I gave unsolicited advice. I never do this. Oh, that's a good idea. I always. gave unsolicited advice to this eighteen-year-old 
19 year old kid the other day. Oh my, you're talking about? Yeah, yeah we're not gonna, we can't mention what he really? does. Really? Can we mention his name? We can't mention, oh, we can either mention his name or we, what? Let's change his name. Let's call him Johnny. Is it? I think that's really close to his name, baby. I don't know. It is now that you fucking blew up his spot. <laughs> <laughs> fucking idiot. Yeah, you're right, you're right. I'm, I'm a little high, bro. You can't just fucking. I oh, know, maybe me and Kevin are doing a reverse, reverse. Right. You don't know what we do okay. now. His here. name's not Salvatore. <laughs> so my man Sal, <laughs> my man Sal tells me something like, I was coming in at three in the morning, and uh, and <laughs> I'm giving away. Man, you are the <laughs> <laughs> you are the worst clandestine spy ever. Dude, do not ever enter into fucking espionage, Kevin. Damn, yo, that was, yo, can I tell you something? That was my dream. To be, to a, be, to be a, a spy? To be a spy. Oh, you'd be dead in like I'll three be weeks, dead bro. In, no, I wouldn't be dead. Other people would be dead, though, because of me. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so you know when somebody just, he just started talking about his life. Yes. Right? Well, you're like a magnet for that. You like, everybody loves to talk to you. Yo, bro. So he, I mean, within a second, though, he was like, yo, man, I'm with my girl, and she pregnant. Was somebody else's kid. I said, what the fuck are you talking about? Huh? He goes, that's not your girl? She goes, nah, that's my girl, bro, and I love her. Mm. And I said, Sal, you love her, but she don't love you, bro. And then he goes, um, he goes, I think I'm going to be a stepfather. That's actually how he started the conversation. He goes, yo, I'm about to be a stepdad, Kev. I said, how is that possible, son? Are you about to be a stepdad, I want to just bro? preface this. I know this kid as well. So he looks, kidding, he looks like he's 12 years old. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. He looks like he's 12 years old. And to summarize, there's a woman with a uh, who's two months pregnant with, with some other dude. Who, is he in the life at all? He's a gangbanger, apparently. Oh, you, I, see, I wasn't going to say that, Kev. Now you're going to get us in trouble. <laughs> Man, you are the worst. <laughs> no, no, he said I can share the story. Oh, he could say, yeah, yeah really? Yeah, 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 so, you know. I think. The baby daddy <laughs> is, uh, is he's, he's trouble. He's trouble. So he wants to be the stepfather he in this stepfather scenario? In this. Can we and call him? Can we get him? Can I, we sabotage I'm trying to get, this? I'm try, well, I try to do my best work there. I was like, hey, man, I normally don't do this shit, bro, because who gives a fuck about my advice? Right. But this is you're 19, bro. You're a dummy. Right. Not because um, you're not smart. You're just a dummy right. by default. You have default. no life experience. You yet. got no life experience. And not only that, bro. Your brain's not even fully developed. This is a terrible decision. Yeah, terrible. Don't terrible do that decision. shit. Right? The, and honestly, I felt terrible doing that. The next day, I was like, damn, should I have told him that? Should I just let him ruin his own life? You know? Wow. What I did ask him, hey, you going to take my advice? The, other, the next day, because right. I saw him. And he wasn't as energetic to see me. Right. So I, I could tell. Like, I, he got I the feeling. He knows you're right, though. I, oh, no, I'm right. A hundred percent. But man. that's that's why he wasn't as energetic because there w there's some clouds over his parade now. That's no, that's not what happened. No. <laughs> okay. He, he went there with his like bare chest and he was like, Um my friend Kevin said that uh this is a terrible idea oh. and uh Kevin said that I shouldn't do this and she was like, So are we fucking or what? And then she fucked him, uh, and then he forgot everything. He was like, yo, what is kept? First of all, I saw her. She's a piece. So then there, my, there you go. She's beautiful. And I, I totally get wanting to be like uh, those kids' stepdaddies. Yeah, now. but that's the worst. But, but it's a terrible. Worst. Also, he's a good-looking kid. He's young. He has the a pretty good job. Like Can't go to the bar yet. Can't go to, you can't even hit a bar yet, bro. You can't he even, doesn't even know what he's missing yet. But somebody yeah. get that boy a gun and tell him to defend my freedom, please. <laughs> Um, shout out all my 19 year old military men. Uh, you doing your thing. It was a dumb decision. You know it. And I know it. Cause <laughs> I was in the military. I know what you're feeling right now, man. You're like, what the fuck did I sign up for? But it's all good. You're going to make it through. Anyway. Yes. Yeah, son. So, so do you take your advice or not? I don't think he is. That's why we got to bring man. him on the show. So let's get him on the show. Let's, we got to bring him on the show. Can we do a call with him? Cause I don't think he's going to want to show his face. He's not that kind of guy. But he's a good sport. Yeah. He's a good sport, yo. Because I was like, you know what? Because the next day he goes, I don't think I'm going to take your advice. Right. <laughs> and I was like, you know what, man? You shouldn't. Right? It's probably going to work out. And then I was like, it's not going to work out. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> but he just get, he just laughed about it. You right. know, he didn't even. He's a good. He's a good dude. Yo. Listen, man. It's also it's his mistakes to be made. You know. Yeah. You Would get, you? Could you be a stepdaddy at nineteen? Is there any girl in your life? Boy, at nineteen years old, if if a girl was like, "I'll stay with you and we can have sex," I'd be like, "Sure, I'll, I'll watch your kid." <laughs> <laughs> Sure, okay. <laughs> All right, man. All right. But it's got to be fucked up when a kid doesn't look like you. Like, I got a kid, and he looks like me, you know? But, like, if he didn't, I don't know how interested I'd be. Yo, speaking from a pers- uh, speaking from the perspective of gr- uh, having people raise you who you look nothing like. Right. Yeah, you could feel that shit. Yeah, man. Like, you, you know what sucks when, like, your mom takes... Um, her nephews or nieces side right right and no, i'm sorry not her nephews uh her grandkids sides sides who are your age right and it's like oh i see why you did that that motherfucker look like you so i you guys got the same nose the same hair yeah. like i got you know what i mean i'm sorry kevin that's really sad just, that's really sad <laughs> that's really sad dude that's what it is that's Really bringing me down. <laughs> you know what's bringing you down? The fact you know, if my eyes were working properly, I'd be crying right now. <laughs> I would be crying. But you want to hear something interesting? Do you know that um, when a baby's born, when they're when they're like brand new, mm-hmm. I think like the first twelve or twenty four hours, they look extra like the father oh. than the mother. They're they're like that's. Some genetic thing that when a baby's born, it, it looks more like the father than the mother for the first twelve or twenty-four hours, or maybe a little longer, and that's to keep you know to keep the men from not like from eating that kid. <laughs> <laughs> from, and and no, I'm not talking about these days. I'm talking about caveman years, bro. No, but like still, like yeah. you know, you imagine you're at the hospital and fucking yo, you know what's crazy? Out, yo, there was a like caveman him. who was cheated on, and like that baby came out of that woman's pussy, right? And he was like. This is not mine. <laughs> 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 Twist <laughs> through that shit. <laughs> you know? <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. You know? No, he wouldn't waste a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> no, he like broke it into pieces and fed it to these other kids. Uh, some hills have eye shit. He gave it to his pet saber toothed tiger. Yo, Anna, can you hear me right? Because I unscrewed this for a second. <laughs> <laughs> can you hear me? <laughs> I unscrewed his head for a second. <laughs> Don't unscrew your kids' heads. Don't, yeah. Even Trust if it's me. not yours, man, you can just bring, yeah. you know, put it up for or leave, walk out. Kevin's mom did that to his sister. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna cut up the story of me being a survived abortion and then put that in. <laughs> put that in. <laughs> Damn, man. <laughs> Sounds like we need a Mac talk, Kevin. Yo, I like your Mac talk. Mac talk. Yo, you know who was a Mac this weekend? Who was a Mac this well, weekend? Well, uh, it just came to my attention. My man Jay fucking Cutler, bro. Hmm. Shout out Jay fucking Cutler. The Everybody's football player. The, fo- the ex-football player. He always acted like he didn't give a fuck about playing football. As soon as they gave this motherfucker money, he just stopped playing well. Hmm. Right? He got $75 million and just became a, not a, I want to say a bum, but he became just serviceable, you know? Right. And um, How much money did he make? At least seventy five million. Maybe, I think maybe one hundred and fifty million. I think he got two seventy five million dollars from contracts. the NFL, and then also endorsements. And plus whatever he made for endorsements, because at one point this dude was like, they thought he was going to be the next Brett Favre. And he's a good looking guy. Look at him right here. Can can uh, people see this? Yo, let me tell you something. I used to be hot for that lady. What's her name? I forgot. Oh, Christine Cal- Cavallari. Yeah, man. From Yo, I, I thought she was hot too. When I, I thought first she's saw like her. A, she was like a living Barbie doll. And I, can, uh, do you know from anything else? I don't know. I she only know her. Huh? She was on a Laguna Beach. Yeah, she was on. Yeah, she was on like a show. Uh, oh, she on was, MTV. She's an actress. No, she's no, like was a, a reality, reality star. star. Oh, okay, okay. I know she's a reality star, but I thought it was only because she was married to Jay Cutler. Oh, right. Well, I, I mean, I th- did, did, I think she also comes. Girl, she comes from money and stuff too. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it, uh, I saw a couple of episodes. Cause yeah, I, I did. I wanted to see what it's like to live with a motherfucker who you know doesn't give a fuck about right. anything. Right? And she gives a fuck about everything. Right. Right? So, like, I wanted to see a couple of episodes, and this dude's just a pimp, son. Like, she, she'd she be like, yo, what are you going to do with your life? Right? He right. goes, bitch, I already did what I wanted to do with my wow. life. Wow. He really, now he, he sees no value. You know what? Honestly, now that he says that, 
What? I'm just. Uh, well, she was trying to get him to like do a job, and he was right. Like, no, but like n- now, I just feel like one billion percent. My girlfriend is much more beautiful than her, and I don't even know what I ever saw in her. <laughs> so no idea. Yeah, son, this shit is wild because she asked him for five million dollars. Wow, for to, what? Uh, when they first were separated, so right. she can buy her own house. Right. right, so they can officially separate. Right. I and need a place. <laughs> yeah. Come on. I need a place as good as yours for our children. Right. Right? And my man, uh, the next day or within a couple of hours, he fucking, uh, he froze all his bank accounts. Right? Mm. Or anything that this year, he froze. He, uh, she couldn't have any access to the money. And he, he was like, yo, get a job. Wow. <laughs> Get a job, son. Why? What was the falling out? Why they break up? She just thought that he was. Like, from what I know, she was like, "He's not ambitious enough." The dude that made it. He's not ambitious enough. Yeah, the he guy almost that, got himself murdered in the NFL. Yeah, but that guy's not ambitious enough, bro. Well, he only made one hundred fifty million dollars in his lifetime, so you know he could be. Doing I need better. a fucking island. <laughs> I need an island, you fucking loser. I mean, I think this bitch does uh, sell. Sh- Seashells by the sh- seashore. <laughs> she does. I think she does. I she think sells she seashells actually, by the seashore. I, I actually think she sells seashells by the seashore. That's why she smells <laughs> like the seashore. <laughs> That's why she smells like. The- I'm dead ass though. She has like a. I think she has like a jewelry brand, but it's all shit from the beach. It's just rocks and pebbles. <laughs> <laughs> this is, That's the girl telling him that he's not ambitious enough. You Bro, know? unless she's personally walking up and down fucking the beach selling it herself, mm-hmm. who the hell's buying that shit? I don't know, bro. I don't. Well, you know what? Is she braiding hairs also? She uh, <laughs> <laughs> she gives all white girls that one dread that they come out back from vacation with. Yeah. That's what she does. I went to the beach yesterday. I took home some seashells. <laughs> what's, on, what's wrong with that? Yo, what's her brand? Is that it, Ani? Yeah, I'm pulling it up. It's called Uncommon James. Hold Un- on. I'm pulling it up. It's just loading. Yo, can I? That's the worst Worst fucking name I ever heard for Uncommon James. That shit is trash, bro. This is Uncommon James. This is Uncommon James. UJ. Who's who's the U and the J? <laughs> you jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> She's speaking of cold out here. Yo, man, there's too many jewelries. Nah, you know what though? Girls buy this shit like hotcakes on. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know why I said hot. You know what I'm trying to say though. Right. Like, fucking uh Every, when I was living with a girl, right. every fucking three days, we had a delivery, and it was right. all this shit. You know what's hilarious? My girlfriend, we're getting ready to go to the beach, and she's about to put these like big hoops, hoops. on with like like uh, feathery, like blue patterns. I like. I told it looks. It looks like something that you'd wear like if it's like Mardi Gras. Like, yeah, not yeah. Mardi Gras. What's the other one? Um, Brazil Carnival. The Carnival. You know. So I'm like, I don't know. I think it might be a little too much for the beach. So she puts some other ones on, and we get to the beach, and my friend JoJo's girlfriend is wearing giant freaking things like that. Oh, my God. Is that what's in now? Yeah. Yeah, well, don't listen to me, then, <laughs> for earring advice. Hey, Josh. Yeah, no Kevin. one was. Well, she did. <laughs> she, did. Well, You know what? Your girl did. did uh, for the better. I love her. Uh, my man Jake Cutler's son. What, what, oh, listen. Bro, did he do the right thing? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that it'll, it, it'll affect future prospects with women? No, no, bro, because no. all he wants to do is chill on a hammock and play with his kids. But also because the automatic thinking of, of most women is, I can change him. Mm. I can fix him. I'll fix him. Yo, I w- it's a fixer-upper. Mm. <laughs> Either that or he's going to have to like... Downgrade his taste in women. <laughs> nah, he don't. What are you talking about? He has two hundred million dollars. Like this bitch is stupid. That's all it is. Wow, she Kevin. fucked up. She fucked up. She unmacked herself, bro. Cause I gotta be honest with you. Every girl that picks up a hundred fifty dollar man, hundred and fifty million dollar man is a Mac. You a Mac on, on some level, right? Right. Right. She unmacked us. She was she. She bit off more than she could chew with him. You think when you bag somebody who's like that wealthy? Like you look in the mirror and you're like, I'm special. Of course. I'm special. Yeah. Like yeah. Kevin Federline definitely was like in the mirror. Like, you spent a, a, a stint in your life 
special, Kevin, right? Remember when you told me when you were working in that restaurant, you said you were like at your prime, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was yeah. a dime piece. Yeah. What kind of restaurant was it? It was a gay restaurant. It was called <laughs> El Cid. It was called El Cid Rooftop. You used to make killer money there, right? I used to make, well, killer money for a guy who lived at home with his mom. And What did it feel like to bill. be like this like epitome of like what everybody wanted? Um, yes, honestly, yeah, shit was fucking awesome, bro. It was awesome, right? It was fucking so awesome. I could like walk it. I was getting free drinks all the time. People just let me do shit. Yeah, Kev was still holding on to that look when I met him three years ago. <laughs> but I was like, he used to rock five like, pounds heavier. Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, he used to rock uh, jeans with like slices everywhere. Yeah, I still do. But I the leg do. fat was coming out. <laughs> <laughs> I look like one of them thick chicks. It's just, they just like this shit. Oh. Bis- the biscuits are ready. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, yo, no, but no, but seriously. So yo, you, like, I, you, you I, felt I, like, what? you felt, you felt like. I, I feel like, I, yo, it's. Did you feel like the world was yours? I, but I was too stupid, bro. Uh, I was too You didn't dumb. know how to like, navigate. You know what's crazy? But you weren't gay I knew, also. What are you going to navigate? No, 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 no. Bro, the gay world's the best. Right. The gay world's just the best, bro. Once they figure out that it's not happening. Right. And by, and once they, because they put on a full court press, bro. When they want a fucking straight dude, I ain't never seen a motherfucker more persistent than a gay man. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most persistent person you could be is a gay man trying to fuck a straight guy, bro. Right. That shit is crazy, son. Because it starts, first of all, it starts with the owner. Right? The owner, owner of the place. Of the place wants okay. to fuck. Because he has the hierarchy. Yeah. He's like, hey, I get Kevin Sanchez. Yeah, bro. <laughs> And then after you defeat the owner, it's just, oh. <laughs> it's just, it's just easy. This is like there. an eight-bit video game. Bro. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, oh, even he couldn't get him to fuck. Ah, I don't got a chance. But I gotta say, what I do told, they throw at you? Like I told him, and stuff. Bro, I totally get uh, why straight white guys fuck Latin guys, uh, gay Latin guys. I told him because gay Latin dudes with money, they put on the pressure, bro. Did they threatened. Yo, I felt. <laughs> Bro, I felt so special. <laughs> I felt so fucking special. This motherfucker just, he kept buying me drinks and shit. I would walk into it goes, what's your favorite meal? What's your, tell me, Kevin, uh, what's your favorite meal? And I was like, I like, I, I like this. He goes, every day when you come here, your meal's going to be ready for family dinner. Because it was a restaurant, so you have family Kev's lunch like, or dinner. I never had Yo. a dad. <laughs> no, it wasn't even. Yo, honestly, I got daddy issues. So yeah, he, man. Yo, honestly, yo, your game wax. So <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> you could have got me. It was, it just got had, had to be more pro- you had to be more persistent, yo. <laughs> yo, it's crazy, bro. I, oh, dude, I can't wait for that Me Too movement. Yeah. For wow. That, for the, really? You're doing yo, this? No, bro. What? Wow. What? Well, I, you, you, I, I've never heard you talk about it on a podcast. Oh, no, I haven't because, listen, that, <laughs> that gay to straight Me Too movement is going to be so hilarious. So You crazy. said it was already The happening. stories are insane, bro. Because like, you just, like, once, like, if you're chilling with gay people, they'll tell you how many times they fuck, you know, straight guys. Right. right? And they'll tell you great stories about them. Like, damn, son. At first you find, like, they're so entertaining. Right. Right? Um, it's it's like listen, it's like listening to a podcast about a reality show, <laughs> right? right? And and it's just like who can turn the straight guy, and uh, and there's a lot of straight they, dudes. They don't have a, a show like that already on like AMC. Uh, yeah, it's called RuPaul Drag Race. <laughs> 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 that was too easy. That was just dumb. Um, yo, it's gonna be crazy, bro. It's gonna be crazy. And there's a lot of dudes who are like uh, straight guys who are like uh, basically gay for pay and shit. Right. You know, and, and there's going to be, you're going to see, because the, the softer the world gets, the easier it is going to be for straight dudes to come out and, like, tell their stories right. and shit. And honestly, to tell you the truth, I may not feel like this three or four years from now, but right now I feel like if a gay dude got to fuck you, he won. Like, you shouldn't say anything, bro. You, you, you've been offered gay for pay. Yeah, all the Recently. time. Recently. All the time. Recently. Yeah. Who? When you took a little, a small hiatus with a job that you took. Oh, nah, we can't talk about that. Uh, that, is, <laughs> that could implicate some people. Oh, okay. You know? Well, um, so. that stuff ain't legal yet. So that's th- that'll be on our uh, OnlyFans. That'll be on our yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro. Uh, so what'd you do this weekend, Kevin? Can I, we talk about what you did? Oh yeah, we can talk about. Can that. we? Yeah, we can. Kevin fucked in the park. Yeah, boy. Not even just any park. 
Washington Square Park. Washington Square Park. Did you check Boy. The, the, the for needles before you laid down? <laughs> Uh, I should have. Go ahead, Ani. That's my favorite kind of sex is public sex. Well, so the- I'm very excited for this story. <laughs> so I, I mean, is it bad that I gave away the nut? Uh, no, nah, we can make it work. No, nah, okay, good. So I meet with this girl, um, and she's mad. Like honestly, I mean, the date started terrible, and she was mad, awkward, and shit. And I honestly, I was so close to going like this. This is honestly, yo. This is why I love that sometimes I just stick it out for the story. Right. Right? And and that's what I love about my life right now. I will stick it out for the story. Because I was five minutes away from sitting down. As soon as I sat down, I was like, I'm going to order the drink. And I'm like, yo, this is not going to work. Yeah. And I was going to do that within five minutes. And then, yeah. and then she told me that she like she like fell down some stairs <laughs> right before seeing did me. Did you laugh? Um. How did you not laugh? You laugh at that always. Well, I think I I might have like giggled. I only laughed because because I imagined you laughing. I, he he knows that. that I love watching terrible shit. Yeah. So when she said that, did you? <laughs> uh, no, because she didn't. Uh, she didn't like break anything. <laughs> 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 no, nah, but uh, she goes. Um, she um, she fell down some stairs, and but she still got there on time, and I got there five minutes late. Right. So she was that annoyed her, but she said it in such a funny way, right? That and she meant it to make me laugh. That I was like, I'm gonna stick on, I'm gonna stay on this date. Okay. So we 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 get a little drunk, tipsy, I should say, and where I'm like, let's go to Washington Square Park, let's see these animals, but it's kind of drizzling. So we go there, and there's like twelve crackheads and like a couple of college students walking around, but that's it. Right. I heard they were having raves there. Sure. They were, they were, but New York, uh, the police. We we're gonna shut uh, the park down at 10 p.m. from the day we went on that date. To they were cracking down. To, they're cracking down. Right. And uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They were crack. And then, but when we get there, because it was raining all day. Right. The I don't know. I I'm, by the way, I do this a lot on podcasts. I just randomly put my hand up in the air for no reason. <laughs> there was no reason for me to do that. Now, I, I just started doing this on pause. You're reaching for ideas, Kevin. Reaching for <laughs> Jesus. I'm trying to remember shit. You know, that's how I gotta. So anyway, um, so this uh, we go to Washington Square. Park. Is it starting to get better? Are you starting to like? No, I like her. Like she's hilarious. Oh, so she's winning you over. She's winning me over, and she says to right. me, she was like, you know, I'll commit to a bit, right? And right. what she means by that is like she'll do something. And she will do it to the very end. And I and I never heard a regular girl tell me that. Right. So I was like, I wonder if this is true. Right. So we go to Washington, you know, the fountain in Washington Square Park. Right. She runs into the water. Right. And I'm looking at her like, okay, that's kind of funny. And then she jumps into the the water that's shooting up and she's like crawling on the crates. And I'm looking at her like, she's insane. She's crazy, and I love it. I fucking, I love that she's insane. She's really committing to a bit, this right? Is, yeah. And by the way, she's getting like a standing O from everybody else around her. Right. And I got to tell you something. I had every intention of stepping in that water right. until I saw her run into the fountain, mm-hmm. like all the way into the, the water shooting up, and I was like, I'm not going to get wet. <laughs> I don't let her stick the <laughs> didn't jump in. I didn't jump in with her. She goes, so she crawls, back, she runs back to me, and then she goes, you know, I jumped in there because I was like, there's no, because I saw that you didn't get in the water right away. So I was like, there's no way he's not going to get in the water if I jump into the to the spraying water, right? And you didn't. Right. And I was like, because honestly, I'd rather be dry right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, but she did that, yo, and it was so, um, I don't know, it was... Not sweet. Bold? What's the word? It was bold, but it was something else. Endearing. Endearing. It was so endearing, and she looked kind of, and then I started making out with her. Wow. So we're making out, and it's a good time. So romantic. So, and then um, she was like, I guess she wanted more privacy, so she 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 goes, let's go to the jungle. There's like this jungle. Right, jungle. of course. But it's like in a pit, right? So like, you could walk around and not see what's going on in that pit. Right. So we're just making out there, and... And then we start fucking. Mm. Right? So we're fucking. And honestly, you know, when you're doing shit like that, I'm like, man, I, I'm 30. So I know that, like, fucking 
in a park like this <laughs> is uncomfortable. <laughs> Right and like I was like I'm gonna hate this, but to be honest with you, I loved it. She knew wow. who, we we will. Fuck she had park fucking experience. She, supposedly she said, "Was that her spot?" She's like, oh, "I know a place here." <laughs> the way she, <laughs> the, she, she <laughs> on second thought, you know what? She knew exactly where to fuck in that park. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Listen, you weren't 100%. the first, Kev. Of course, and I don't mind uh, being the first. Right. right? Any, she any supposedly rat? says that I'm the first guy she's ever did that with, <laughs> but. <laughs> Listen, let me live with my dreams, son. Let me, let me, because I like this girl. So I like that she's bold and whatever. So she's on top of me and she's fucking, and we're fucking like porn stars. It honestly was really good. And people were walking by, and but I can't see because I'm laying on my back and she's on top. And she goes, It's exactly what you think is happening. Just keep walking. She says that. She's like saying that to me, like, Keep walking. Don't worry. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm on top. <laughs> So then she goes, can you turn over? Can, can we, you know, can you get on top? Right. And I was like, for optic reasons, I don't think that's a good idea, yeah, son. Yeah, dude. I told, yeah, man. Yeah, because, like, people are not going to, like, assume, like. She's okay. She's okay. Yeah. You know, unless like, you're going to be, like, like screaming daddy right now. Right. Like, anything you scream sounds Ugh. like you, sh- I, like, someone should help you. Man. So, please. That sounds so dangerous. Kevin. It was so dangerous. And that's what made it extra hot. And I end up getting on top later on, boy. Because you know why, son? I be taking risk out of here, dude. <laughs> hey, man, I'm a risk taker, bro. I'm a whole risk taker. I ended up getting on top anyway, bro. This whole thing sounds like a new show. <laughs> like what? Like Because you started off in the fountain and then you went there. It's like fucking friends. <laughs> That's so what, no one told yo, you you were gonna fuck in the park. park. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, let you get on you top are. of her. They'll think you're raping her. <laughs> 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 now you're stuck in jail. <laughs> <laughs> she said she'll have my back. But honestly, I was. You know what? I was really scared to get on top. I was like, this bitch does commit to bits. Right. And what is she like? She thinks it's funny to be like. He's raping, He's raping me. me. And they're like, I'm a like, nah, son. Nah, come but on, she, man, please don't do that. But she, she's smart. She's funny. She's bold. And um, yeah. If so. you were smart, you would have turned your audio recording on from the beginning. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, you should have had that oh, shit recorded. Oh, I see, but, you, but I didn't know we were going to fuck. Honestly, because I never go into those, in, in those uh, I, scenarios assuming I'm going to fuck. Never do, and that's why I always fuck. And now, Kevin, before, I'm going to preface this, no names. Please. No names. No, right now. Oh, okay. Uh, I dated, I dated a girl who was very into asphyxiation. No, let's like, not talk about Sandra. Huh? Let's not talk about Sandra, bro. Come on, man. It's fucked up. Sorry. Who? Sandra. <laughs> <laughs> I never, I never had sex with a Sandra. Um, but like, really cool girl. But she was really into it. Like that's how she got off. And like, she wanted it, like really crazy, like crazy choking, crazy stuff. And like, I'm not that into it. But like, she was hot. And I, you know, I did it to, you know, to get her off. But it was getting, like, more and more dangerous to where it got to the point where I was like, yo, I want you to record a video before we have sex. Being like, hey, so if you see this video, (laughs) something uh, bad probably might have happened, but I just want to let you know, like, I was all into this and I I asked asked him. Yeah, and she wouldn't do it? I forget. Did you no, like we only discussed doing that, and then we broke up a short time after. You but know, like seriously, I, I, I maybe we broke up because of that, because I was like, this is a little some, too intense for me. Some girl wanted me to fuck her in the ass right. without lube. Yeah, and I was, I was like, I, you know what I'm, you know the piece, right? <laughs> well, maybe she had the runs. So then, <laughs> or maybe she was <laughs> constipated. So maybe I was doing another misfire. Diarrhea. Her, uh, <laughs> so. I um, I was gonna ask her to like, hey, can you fucking just say that I didn't just shove my big ass dick in your ass? Right. From, like, <laughs> you're the rotor. You're the rotor rooter, Kev. <laughs> what is the what? The, the rotor rooter. It's the guy that comes and un- unclogs the fucking <laughs> sewer really system. <laughs> Yo, you want to hear who's more Mac than uh, my man Jay Cutler? Who's more Mac than Jay Cutler? So, my man Lil Duval shared this. And I looked it up, and it's real. Okay. Business Insider wrote an uh, article about this. What? A bride collapsed and died at her wedding. Oh, I heard 
Then the groom married a woman's sister with her dead body lying in the fucking room. That body not even right cold. Then, right then and there? Right then and there. That bitch dropped. He was, hey, check her post. <laughs> hey, yo, check her. She dead. Ah. That was a father who was like, I'm getting one of my fucking daughters out of this house. Out of this house. Well, I can't. I can't. Oh, he, oh, he goes, <laughs> yeah, he's like, all right, one down, one to go. <laughs> <laughs> you think he poisoned his own daughter? No. Not. No, people in most countries, they treat their daughters really well. Oh, uh, <laughs> yo! I want to read this article, bro, because I want to know. Like, obviously, this was an arranged marriage, right? Right. I want to see if he got a statement. You know, I'm hoping a wedding in India took a morbid turn when the bride collapsed and died just before completing her wedding rituals. Instead of, instead. The groom end up marrying her younger sister on the same day. Damn, Sonny. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> this one's out of service. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you promised me a working woman. <laughs> Hold on a second. I have one. It's in the shop. <laughs> hey, hey, bitch, how old are you? 50. Oh, it works. Wow, man. Hey, listen. <laughs> You can't judge other cultures, is what they tell us. Yo, he married her younger sister on the same day with the original bride's body lying in another room. Okay, so they moved the body, at least. They had some courtesy. Oh, they moved it out of the room. They moved it out of the room. So it wasn't right. Come on, man. Speaking of hyperboles out here. <laughs> yeah, do you think they saved money on the on the funeral and shit? Do you think they took <clears throat> the, the wedding dress and they were like, sorry, and they gave it to her? No, like... <laughs> Nah, they didn't cut that shit open. Eh? What did she die? Was she oh from a heart attack? A heart attack. She died of a heart attack just before completing her wedding rituals. Wow. Heart attack? Like what? Well, was the going wedding on? rituals consist of a uh, a fight. It's a it's a grueling battle. <laughs> Yo, son, we did not know what to do in this situation. Both the families sat together, and some suggested that my younger sister, Nisha, should be married to the groom. Damn, son. Whose suggestion was Some, that? Like, like within my man. Who suggested it? Does it say? It doesn't say who. Yeah, they the just father. Go, both families said. Take my other daughter now. It was the uncle. It was the uncle. Or at least he was the when one reporting it. Um, It says, it was a tough call for our family. One daughter lay dead and the other one uh, in the room. The wedding of another daughter was being so what is, solemnized. Uh, so, you, you, I mean, that's a crazy, like, yo, honestly, we've been looking. What is the socially acceptable uh, perception of this, what took place? Are we supposed to be get it, girl, <laughs> <laughs> or are we supposed to be like that's awful? Um, honestly, I admire the the quick thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. I son. mean, they spent a lot on a wedding already. They spent a lot of the wedding. They um, did they did they smear her name off the cake? <laughs> <laughs> they just got to smear the first name. Right. The, his last name that's stays true. baby. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like yeah, her yeah. name. Voopy. No. Rhea. <laughs> that's sweet. Well, hopefully it was just Mr. and Mrs. and the last name. As a Jew, I like the the value of not losing out on an entire wedding that you've paid for. Dude. I would be so pissed, man. Yo, I'd be sad man. too, of course. Man. I wanna know what happens to this family in ten or fifteen years, man. This was the right decision and shit. Um I can't wait for that. Well, you know what? You're going to have to tune in 15 years from now. Yo, those kids are going to feel real special, too. You think? Hell yeah, son. They would they, they would have been totally... I don't know, man. That's fucking weird, bro. Like, they only exist. Because, they only exist because... Because auntie died. Auntie died, yo. yo. <laughs> thank, you, thank you all for being here, man. Hey, man. Listen, that's how shit used to be, man. It used to be like... If if a husband died, uh, or no, yeah, if a woman became a widow, like the brother of the husband would marry the widow. Oh, is that true? Yeah, man. Is that a really a thing? It is. Yo. Ani, yes? I'm looking it up. Oh, okay. So. I, th I, I think it comes from um, from my, my religion, but I don't know if it's like something that's still practiced or accept it's socially acceptable. It's probably not socially acceptable. But I think biblically... They used to do that. Man, we saw A Quiet Place. 
You saw A Quiet Place 2. Yeah. First, I had Kevin give me the synopsis because I didn't want to watch the movie not knowing anything. Yeah. I loved it. I thought it was so stupid, and I loved it. <laughs> there's there's actually a term for it. It's called, uh, you, know, you would be a laverite or laverite. Um, let's see. Is it a sin? There's a question here. Uh, hold on. I can't believe anybody cares that it is a sin. To marry your 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 brother's widow? Yeah. Oh, no. This is just part of Judaism. It oh, says, okay. Oh, he just can't believe that people think Judaism is a sin. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe That's crazy, bro. Yeah, I, this, I guess this is in... Uh, this was... Yeah, this is a thing. This is a thing. Thank you. It's now verified. <laughs> so if you're out there, you're a widow, go check out your brother-in-law. See, see if he's worth it. See if he's worth it, man. Yeah, man. Ask him to... Put your name down, flip it, and reverse, reverse it. it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what that song's about. <laughs> oh, yeah. There is a widow. Let me work it. I kill my husband and reverse, reverse it. it. And marry his brother right now. <laughs> <laughs> marry his brother, brother right, right now. now. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Yo, we never, she goes, we never witnessed such mixed emotions. The grief over her death and the happiness of a wedding to have yet mm. have yet to sink in. Yeah, because your right. sister just died, dog. It was, a, it was a bittersweet symphony. Yo. Did they play that song? I like? wonder if they were close, bro. As sisters. Because those families are usually fucking... Of course they were close, Kevin. Fucking A, bro. Man. Wow, man. Think... That really brought me down, man. Do you think the... Um... But excited and happy for them at the same time. Yeah, <laughs> man. We should get them a wedding gift, bro. We should. Yeah. And a funeral gift. And a funeral gift. Do you yeah. give you give gifts at funeral? Flowers. We should yeah. send flowers and... We should, we should give them flowers and say when they start to wilt, pass them over for pass. the funeral. Yes. Yes. Also... That's appropriate. Hey, nobody take the tabletops. That's going to my <laughs> sister's funeral, man. They'd be having nice tabletops, man. Oh, man, yo. Fucking a! You know who would have to have a conversation about this? Whom? Kanye West to a a, a bartender stripper at a strip club. Oh yeah, we're gonna talk about shout that. out shout out Kanye Easy out here. Yeah, I, honestly, that's that's Mac talk right there. What do you mean for the girl? You like this for oh. the girl? Oh yeah, that's Mac talk. He paid this woman fifteen thousand dollars. Yo, you can go go all the scroll down on it, and then uh, th- there's a video of her talking about it. He paid her $15,000 to speak with her for three hours. Oh, shit, we can't hear anything. Because we don't have headphones on. You're putting on makeup, Kevin. Yo, that's some, that's some gangster shit, son. Public eye in general. My club gets a lot of rappers, athletes, people that just want to show up and show out and do things for Instagram, but not Kanye. It was completely different. Kanye didn't want to book a table. Kanye didn't want to see the girls dance. He just came straight to the bar and started talking to me. He mm. didn't order anything to drink. He just got water on the rocks and proceeded to tell me all of his beliefs and where we descended from and how he believed that he was a true descendant of his creator. His conversation went on with me for about three to four hours, and he told me at the end of the night, thank you for my time, gave me $15,000, and said that he felt he was called to do this and left. That's the last time I've ever seen him. <laughs> Can't wait till strippers talk about me. Yo, bro. She has some big ass titties. I mean, it gave him a focal point. That's for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yo, Kanye's out of his fucking mind, huh? Kanye's done. Do you right? think he was like promising her, like, hey, I'm going to make you Secretary of State? <laughs> if you stick, I love if, Kanye, dude. I I, think honestly, I love genius. Kanye, too. <laughs> I yeah, think he's too. a genius, and I, and I 100% would have voted for Kanye last election. You would have voted for Kanye? 100%. Oh, man. 100%. Too bad your, your vote. Lost. What are you talking about? My vote is in the White House right now. Oh, really? Who's your vote? Listen, man. Don't worry about <laughs> it. <laughs> he's in the second White House. Nah, man. He's in a little control room. <laughs> 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 Got robots and shit. Yo, man. I don't live in the same dimension as you, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> exterior being. You're an ex- you know what? With that said, we got to get the fuck out of here, bro. Really? It's time already? It's time already. It's about that time. Wow, man. It's been a Mac minute. It's been a Mac minute. We love you guys. Please uh, like, follow, subscribe on Instagram at the Mac Almanac. Yeah, share Uh, with your friends. Share with your friends. We're going to put up clips soon. Uh, Shout out to Big Tits, Big Picks. 
Who's going to be? One of our official sponsors. We're working on things. We're working on things, yo. We're going to be one of the first podcasts in New York City to have marijuana sponsors. Yes. Uh, from uh, marijuana vendors in the, in the city. And uh, make sure you follow the Mac Almanac. I'm Joshua Pallad. I'm Kevin Sanchez. Yo, peace. If you're feeling like a pimp